Dear Lucy, I received your letter on Sunday. I've been back home with my brother going on five weeks now, though I'll be gone come sunup. It's been a raw spring, an altogether troubled visit, feeling like an outsider in my old residence. I've spent most of my time fixing folded shingles and railings from the storm. I've been telling him about you. Retelling tales of how we first met. I was passed out when I met her. Morning after graduation. All that whiskey at the governor's ball did me in. I was lying face down behind one of the dean's carriages. I looked up, and there she is, standing right there next to her sister, smiling at me. She was the prettiest girl I'd ever seen. I must have smelled like a damn ranch pig. Is she hung over? Hell, I was still drunk. In the dry ridges, right? Yeah, I got a piece for the railing, too. The railing's damn near pegged out. Storm did spare the barn. Yeah, spooked the horses. That's about it. Lewis, Jefferson, make your way in here. Why don't you supper's about ready? How's that crowd coming? Oh, we'd be finished tomorrow. After that, we'll go to the roof. You be careful up there. Don't want the cottage caving in on itself. It's been a good home for us. I do love it here. May we give thanks to thee. O oh Christ our Lord, for blessing us so bountifully and providing us these harvested foods. May you keep us from harm and instill peace in our hearts. In thy name of our Lord, amen. 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 You decided on a name? Jacob, or Suzanne. Maybe Noah, Lewis likes Noah. Well, what about Jefferson? Jefferson is a fine name. I think the boy ought to be named Jefferson. <laughs> what makes you think that it's a boy? I know it's a boy. Of course it's a boy. She'll be down in a month. Fourth of July, I promise. Evening, Thomas. Armstrong. What brings you out here? There's been an uprising in South Carolina. A group of rebels shell Fort Sumter. Well, you come on in. No, no, I, I gotta go down to Clarksville and meet up with my brother. Just thought I should let you know. You take care of yourselves. Me too, Thomas. All men are hereby ordered to report to Army Headquarters in Washington by the morning of April 22nd. That's tomorrow. Maybe the war is over by now. This paper's two weeks old. A federal fort was attacked. This ain't close to over. I can't believe it's come to this. Morning train leaves in seven hours. 
What? Morning train to Washington. To Potts Grove Station at daybreak. Jefferson, what are you saying? We've received orders. You ain't getting on that train. We've been attacked, Lewis. There's been an uprising. A confederation of southern states, including Virginia. Including Virginia. You were born in this house. We buried our parents a mile from here. This is our home. You ain't turning your back on our home. It was home this morning. It's going to be the Confederacy tomorrow. Well, you ain't leaving to wear blue. Lewis. Daddy wore that uniform. Daddy was a Southerner first. And he'd never turn his back on Virginia. He'd do what the country asked of him. He died doing what the country asked of him. You join that union, you draw your sword against your own people. Jefferson. Against me. I can't believe this. A handful of rebels shoot off a few guns at a federal fort and you're going to take their side over your own country? You ain't getting on that train. Boys, please. Jefferson, tell me you ain't getting on that train. I'm going. Yeah, well, you going for her. What? You're going to turn your back on your own people for some damn Yankee girl and some rich old man. You keep your mouth off that. Okay, that is enough. You afraid your daddy won't let you marry her? Finds out you fight for the South? You keep your mouth off that. Look at you. Traitor. <laughs> I didn't knock her, I swear. Are you hurt? No. You're brothers and friends. And you've been partners on everything you ever laid your hands on since I met you. And now I gotta watch you try and kill each other in front of me before this war even begins. Thinking right here. If we clear out four new acres, we'd be ready to plant by spring. We get a good crop. We could buy eight new horses from Thomas. Maybe ten. One good crop ain't gonna pay for all we got going. Not ten new horses. Well, I know a guy from school. He's a banker in Washington. And he'd make us alone, get us on our feet until we get things going. Ten new horses, four more acres. We could double what Dad was doing. Banker from Washington? Listen to you, college man. All right. We finish up on the corral, fix the roof. We start clearing. That's what we'll do next. What are we going to do now? We'll go to Richmond. I'll be given an assignment there. You stay at your daddy's house in Charlottesville. You ain't getting on that train. Lewis. I'm scared. Don't be scared, Lucy. By the time you read this letter, I will be far from my home, far from Slainsville. I've chosen to go to Washington, where I will accept a position in the Union Army. Lewis has decided to ride with the Confederacy, and I cannot change his choice. We are opponents now, bound by blood and split by states. I must now abandon this child at home and travel to a homeland that is both familiar and foreign. Praying that I will not see my brother in battle. Praying that his child will have a father. Please send your family my prayers. I will write you as soon as I settle in Washington. I miss you. Love always, Jefferson.
and God struck me dead. If I have a drum, I'm going on you.